Well, you said there's lots of uncertainty in the UK economy on the upside and the downside. Our base case for 2023 is we will have a recession, a mild recession, GDP of about minus 1% through this year. Unemployment staying strong, and that's more because of the constraints on the supply side. Uh, interest rates about 4%, um, and a recovery coming into 2023. The other challenge a lot of our customers are focused on is house prices, and we do see house prices softening about 8 to 10% this year. What's that going to mean for your book? Because you are, I think, the biggest mortgage lender in the UK, aren't you, to the, to the retail consumer. Um, are you concerned about property market um, uh, price declines and what that means for the stability of the book? No, no so we, as you say, we're the biggest retail and commercial franchise in the UK, uh, financial services group in the UK. Um, we're seeing a tale of two stories. First of all, there is a, a relatively small but really important group of customers with mortgages and also without who are going to struggle to make ends meet in the cost of living. That's about 1% of customers we can see in the UK, and we really need to focus on supporting them. We're seeing a much larger set of customers having to adapt their spending and adapt to both you know, higher costs of living and higher mortgage spend. But there still is real resilience in businesses, in households and individuals at the higher income levels in the UK, and strong spending we're seeing going through. So we provision strongly for 2023, actually in the Q3 results, and, and we're really mainly focused on those two things, really supporting our customers at the lower end who are going to be impacted by the cost of living, and then trying to grow with and invest with our customers that want to see through the recession. You think you're going to have to increase provisioning going forward? We took a strong provision in, in Q3. Uh, we've got our year-end results actually in the next four weeks, and we're just reviewing the numbers again now. But as you know, with modern accounting, we try and take a forward look around provisioning, and, and we, we took a strong view around that in, in the Q3 results. There's an awful lot of pressure on the banks here to show a, well, I guess they would call it a socially responsible face to borrowers at this point. And I know a number of organisations in the UK now are looking at other measures that they can um, introduce to ease maybe some of the, the sticker shock on these higher interest payments on mortgages. What are you intending to do or what are you doing at the moment and why are you doing it? Yeah, we've, yeah, we've had, had interventions actually from Q3 a year ago, you know, almost uh, 14 months ago. We've been focused on reaching out to customers, giving them advice around how they manage their spending. For those who really can't make ends meet, we've got a set of treatment strategies to provide them uh, redu reduced fees or potentially restructure their debt. We also put money into debt advice charities. And so we've had a whole set of interventions running through last year. And, and we're going to continue to make sure they're focused on the customers that need the most.